Okay, so today I'm here to do a get ready with me on this look. It is pinks, basically. Hot pinks and a pink nose and then like an ombre weird lip thing that I feel like the Asian people do, I think. I see other people do this look and I love it. So I did it and I put it on Instagram. It would probably be a while back from, from when this video is gonna go up, maybe like a week ago. And uh, I don't know, I just like it. So I thought I'd make it into a video. But yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. Okay, done my eyebrows, primed to set my eyelids. I'm gonna be using Morphe 35B palette like always. Really, all I'm gonna use is this light, light pink right here and then that hot pink there. And this is just gonna go in the crease right up in here. This is the most simple eye look ever. So I'm gonna bring this really light pink color all the way up to my eyebrow cause that's what I always do. And then we're going to take the hot pink one and put that on the outer half of the crease area. I'm like sweaty looking. Like it's hot in here, not gonna lie. I'm bringing this hot pink like all the way up to my eyebrow. I swear if I don't, then I feel like one side always looks like not blended and the other side looks more blended. I don't know, it's very weird. And uh, that's all for the eyeshadow. It's so simple. And then I just took this NYX liquid crystal liner in the shade Crystal Hip. Not sure that I really recommend this because it, I feel like it burns my eyes. It might not be meant for the eye area, but yeah, I, I just put this all over the lid. But I feel like this just kind of makes your lids look shiny because I love the glossy eyelid, but there's no way that would last. I don't understand the point in it, unless it's just for a picture. I'm bringing this a little bit into my crease area because it's probably gonna go there anyway, but yeah because this isn't like really opaque glitter, but it's just like a little bit of glitter. Look intently at the glitter glossness. This one has a black thing in it. Okay, this needs to dry so I can put on eyeliner. Okay, now I'm gonna do some wings, Tarte Maneater liquid eyeliner, but I'm gonna put a different eyeliner over this because this is not matte enough for me and I don't like it. I mean, it's super black, super easy to work with, but not matte enough. So I'm gonna try to make my wings as straight out as I can, D not up at all. I hate wings that are like, I know you're supposed to like, oh, go towards the end of your eyebrow, but no, I like mine like pure straight. So that's what we're gonna go for. Maybe I don't love this anymore because what the fuck? Why is it so wet? Okay, I'm gonna go over that with my Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. The best matte liquid liner I can find. Sadly, I mean, I even want a better one than this, but whatever, you know what? I use this dumb nub if I have to. Can you tell the difference that that makes? I don't know if you can on camera, but uh, I definitely can. Okay, the wings are good enough. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And then um, for lashes, I'm gonna use Salon Perfect 614. Might I add, they have changed. I don't know if you can tell. Whenever I was ordering these online, because I had to order them online now, I was ordering them through walmart.com, which is where I always used to get them when I could get them for real in Walmart. But uh, I looked at the comments before I ordered them and they were saying, these aren't the same lashes as in the picture, but they're really good. I like them, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, huh? Cause I've ordered them online before and I never thought that they weren't the same lashes. But then I get these ones. And as soon as I wear them, I go see my friend and she's like, what lashes are you wearing? I'm like, Swan Perfect 614. She's like, that doesn't even look like them. And I'm like, you know what? No, it doesn't. Cause she had on hers that she had bought as like a single pair, I think at Walmart or somewhere. I don't remember, but. They look definitely different than these. They are more like crisscross looking. This will not focus, come on. <sighs> I don't know, I mean, I still like these. I'm gonna wear them, but they're not the same and that is stupid. Okay, for primer, I'm gonna use the Ulta Fabulous Face Foundation Primer, like always. Okay, I normally don't do my makeup with my hair down, so this is about to get annoying. Up you go, do a bun. Um, I'm gonna use Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Porcelain. I love this. So much, I can't get over it. I am planning on buying a darker shade as soon as I can because um, I love this. This shade matches me, I swear, like perfectly whenever I'm pale, which is a rare thing. And then it just looks fantabulous all day long. 
I don't know. I don't know how it does it. Like I look in the mirror and every time I look in the mirror, it, it looks better somehow. I wish that the concealer that went with this though, like the photo focus concealer was as good as the foundation because that would make so much sense. And I don't think it's a bad concealer. It just has like the darkest shades ever. So I can't even really use it. Like, I don't understand why they make the lightest shade for foundation be so good and so light. And then like the concealer, the lightest one is way darker than this. That don't even make any sense. It's kind of surprising that I like this foundation so much because I feel like it looks very matte, honestly. And matte is not normally my friend when it comes to foundation. Uh-uh. Usually looks cakey as F, but this is just like matte, but like second skin. I think it's because it's so watery and thin that it doesn't get all nasty and cakey. I'm gonna use my Hard Candy Color Correct Finishing Powder on my forehead. Just set that real quick. Very glowy, but I love this powder. Heart shape tape because this is the only concealer light enough for me right now which is basically like the same color as this foundation i think maybe a little bit more yellowy i am still using the old tart that i had tart shape tape because i bought a new one because i was about to run out of this but i'm like i'm going to use literally every little amount in here because i don't want to waste, waste any of it like this shit is too expensive okay that might be a little bit lighter than this foundation or is it? I don't know. I can't tell. And then NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. Because I need that light shit right now. Okay, back to the hard candy powder. God, I got a headache from that. You're gonna put some whatever powder and foundation it's left over from that sponge on the lips. Oh my god. That looks honestly cool though. You probably can't even tell. My lips look like zebra striped. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna contour with this bronze booster from Physicians Formula. Matte sculpting. Middle shade. We're gonna keep it cool right now today. Because I feel like it. For blush, I'm gonna just use this Tarte Colored Clay Bronzer Blush Peach Bronze. Like always, usually. Like always, usually, that makes sense. You gotta do like at least 10 layers of this blush, not gonna lie. But once you do, it looks good. I forgot to contour my nose. That's abnormal. <gasps> what just got on my face? Mm. Okay, wipe away. This contour is so intense today. Oh, it got dark. I feel like this is how I always used to contour. And I mean, I like it. And I used to like it, but I haven't done it in a while. Okay, to pink in the nose. This time, I'm going to use the Tarte Color Wheel. Open the fuck up. And <laughs> this pink. That looks like a good pink. I'm trying to use like a pink that matches a pink on my eyes. Well, they both kind of match. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it both. It doesn't really matter. I'll mix both of these pinks and we're gonna get the tip of this nose real pink. Last time I made a video, I did this and I got it real pink. But this time we're going pinker. We need this to like be very well known that hey, the nose has fucking pink on it. If you wanted, if you don't have the right type of blush color, I would just use an eyeshadow, but for some reason I'm scared to. <laughs> Like, you could just use the same eyeshadow that you use on your eyes. I'm sure that would work. But, like, I have this fear of putting that on my nose. Because I'm scared it looks, like, insane. Okay. I think that's getting pink enough. Why did it get dark in here all of a sudden? Looks like I got sunburn on the tip of my nose. And then I just take this, like, uh, right down the top of it. And kind of, like, knock a little off of the top. So it's just kind of, like, around the outside. I don't know. We are going to make the nose and cupid's bow pop today i look bold right now i need hair so i'm gonna take a little bit of my maybelline master strobing liquid liquid illuminating highlighter 100 light why is that name so long i'm gonna smear it on the back of my hand and i'm gonna take this brush and dip it in there but it's just like like i want it to be like dry basically by the time i put it on my nose because this shit is intense but I'm just putting it all the way down the nose hole. 
all the way down the nose hole. And it has some kind of weird color to it. So just make that intense, but then I'm gonna go over it with something else. And then I'm gonna take this on the Cupid's bow and just be like hectic a lot up in there. And then, and then we're gonna take Aurora Glow Kit and use Luna, the white one, and layer that the fuck on. And hook that up under there as intense as possible. I'm gonna go back over the blushed area with my blush brush, cause it, that's intense. Like it looks like the tip of my nose is foiled. And then I'm going with my powder brush over top of the top of it. That helps it like blend into my nose a little bit better. But you know, then you can add more highlight if you feel like it, whatever. Okay, I put on different clothes. You like this shirt? It's like a bandana, but also it shows my fat armpit, so I don't really like it that much, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. So all I need to do is the bottom of the eyes and the lips. And for the bottom of the eyes, all I'm doing is putting on Essence Lash Princess Mascara, so that's simple. I feel like I've got a highlighter mustache happening. Okay, for lips, I'm gonna use this Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm in the shade. Can't read it. What? Coquette? C-O-Q-U-E-T-T-E? -E. <sighs> that writing's so small. It's gonna give me a panic attack. This is so old. I have so many shades of this because honestly I like the formula, but I started only wearing like liquid lipsticks, you know, but this is really good. I don't know if they still have it anymore. I would assume they do. I don't, I don't know, but it's perfect for the type of thing that I want to do where I want the lip to be like an ombre out lip. If you know what I mean. I just put it in the center and then be like. And then I just kind of like wipe away the edges and then add no more to the center. And then I'm going to get my highlighter back out and go back over the lip area. Like it's kind of actually on my lip. And then there you have it. God, I look like I have fucking man arms. I don't even have any muscle, so I don't know why. Ooh, look at that fucking, mmm, looking good. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, so I think that's all for this look. It's something different. If you like it and you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching, bye. Here's a little close up. Is this necessary? My, my lower lashes look like turds. Hmm. Mm -hmm.